Hello everybody and uh, welcome to the demo for Die of the Bunny 2. Uh, I never played the first one so I have no idea what to really expect here. Uh, no options to change the sound I guess. Well that's unfortunate. But anyway, let's try it out shall we? I didn't read the instructions because that requires a lot of effort. And I'm trying to go down the path of not doing a lot of effort and being super lazy because it's Thursday. It's Wednesday. It's it Wednesday. It might be Thursday. Also, no, I just, you know, I feel like it can't possibly be that difficult. Uh, but if I can't figure something out, I will go and look at the instructions because I am a man of, um, uh, I don't know. If I, I admit to my mistakes and if I don't know something... I, you know, I would, I would go back and stuff and, and figure out things. Why is she so dirty? Why is the table so big? Why is the plant bunny? What? I, 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 like I said, I've never played the first one, so I'm just starting off terribly confused. Pretty cool design, though. I think the uh, the rabbit here looks pretty cool. Oh, he's got a knife. He's going to cut the eggs and give us... It's like egg cake. Oh. Okay, well, I mean, I guess my option probably is to just manually adjust the sound settings. Uh, but it seems like, you know, the worst of it's over. It's really... I don't know, it's just kind of like a strange thing. Every time I play a game that has audio that is uh, really loud and there's just not really an option for you to make changes, I wonder almost if, like, they don't want people, like you know, YouTubers or whatnot to actually play the game and make a video for it, because I know for people like me that do Let's Plays, like, the whole point is to sit here and talk about the game and whatever else is on my mind uh, when I play a game. But if people can't hear me, I mean, then they're just watching the gameplay, and it's, yeah, I mean, I'm not, like, the best game player out there, so there's at least 12 other people out there that you're gonna get much better gameplay videos out of but my commentary... Yeah, you're either going to like it or you're going to hate it. So anyway, I'm so confused. Why is is my person a child or are they just really small compared to everything? Like, I feel like I'm about to start like a, an Evanescence video right now. Like, I'm just waiting for some something like that to start. Is she going to break out in a song? I mean, the music is nice. I, I'm i just going to go ahead and leave because it seems like that's just like a spot for us to sit and kind of chill and take in the sights and enjoy the music. Which is fine. Eh, everybody's got to stop and enjoy the music sometimes. Alright. Well, let's see. Let's go through this door. We can't. Easter's coming. Easter is Sunday, so a lot of things around me are closed on Easter, which... I don't know, man. I mean, it's a holiday. I, I get it, but... When I start to think about all the federal holidays we have in the States, I'm really surprised at how many we have that, like, have, like, kind of religious context attached to them. And it doesn't make sense to me. So when we think about federal holidays, we have Easter, right? Easter is, I guess, you know, Christian... I guess probably the easy way is, easiest way to think about it. But, like, where, where's our holidays for, you know, other religions? Like, we don't really seem to have any. We're, we're giving, you know, a federally mandated day off, holiday, whatever, to people of other religions. I don't know. I, it just feels kind of messed up that, you know, the 
the United States only wants to appease to one religion. I, I personally think they should appease to none of them because I think they're all terrible choices, but it's not important. Anyway, that's my rant about Easter. Now we're going to just continue following this path where the sidewalk ends. Great book. Poetry. Remember it from uh, when I was a kid. I guess it was a portal. I hope she sprayed her clothes with some kind of like stiff. Oh, is this one of those games where I have to hide all the time and stuff? I don't really like those. Right, I know I can hide in the tree trunk, which is an obvious place that if I was looking for somebody and I saw something like that, I would assume there's a good possibility they're hiding in it. So it seems like a really terrible place to hide, but... Uh, whatever. Ready or not, I'm going to oh no! Find you. He's going to find me, but not if I get into the, uh... This thing over here. Maybe. Aha! I've hidden myself. Well, how do I know when it's safe to come out? Huh? Okay, well. I guess it worked, I don't know. It's kind of a weird mechanic. He's just like forgot where I was. He, he, he definitely saw me, and he definitely probably followed me into the... you know, watched me get into the tree trunk. But just was like, oh. No, I can't see you anymore. I... I, I must not have seen you go into that. Oh, no. Okay, so it seems like... I mean, literally, you just jump into this, you... You hide for a second, you jump out. Kind of weird choice. Oh, hello! Oh no! I've been caught, and now I'm going through another hole. So, I mean, was that, like, the wrong way to go? I guess it was the wrong way to go. I don't know that I will play all the way through the entire demo. Um, I'm just... I've, ne I've never been a big fan of having to hide from enemies for without you know a real context to it you know I I don't mind hiding at first and then being able to get out and do something to uh you know, to defend myself or whatever uh, but this mechanic of just Hiding really quick, jumping out, and then running. I mean, I don't know. It just kind of feels like it's irrelevant. And not, not really the point. It might like not able to. I don't know. I don't know how he. What what happened there? Like it. Maybe I didn't hide long enough. I I don't know. But I, let me give it a couple more minutes. See if I can't figure this out. Ooh, you know what? Ooh, I should have probably done the instructions. Oh, look at that. Coming back to get me and... Can I, can I use the knife? To defend myself? I mean, I cut him in half before. I mean, I feel like I should be able to cut him in half now. Alright, he's gonna... Tell me he's gonna find me here in a second.
Very soon. Oh no. to our hiding place and now we're out of the hiding place now we try to do this again oh my god come on what the, all right i'm i yeah this i'm i'm done with this this is silly it's a cool guy a uh, cool cool idea cool game um from what i'm seeing i think it's a cool experience i i like the vibe of it and it seems very Cool, but I, I, I'm just not into, um, okay, that, that doesn't help me. Um, I'm just not really into the whole having to hide stuff, so. Anyway, if you played the first one, or if you haven't, but you like hiding and stuff, uh, this might be a good good game for you. I'd, you know, give it a shot, and if you like it, wishlist it. Links in the description.